everybody, another video here for you today. Did one a little earlier on an impact site in Egypt in King Tut. Today we're going to talk ancient United States. I did a video on every state in the western United States in the last part of April. We are going to go down to Idaho today. And this is the region of a cave, set of caves. This is an area at the end of the last ice age. A heck of a lot of water came through here. Pretty much scoured the earth in this region and a few others in the area. Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. Not sure what that's all about, but maybe it, the land has been so scoured it looks like the moon there. That's what I'm assuming. Let's look at the general area here. Some general information here. Here is a website from the Museum of Idaho, the major East Idaho archaeological site you didn't know about. Maybe you knew about it. We shouldn't assume. But for how significant the Wasden site might be, it's surprising how little attention it gets. It says in the desert west of Idaho Falls, there's a plot of land formerly owned by brothers-in-laws named Leonard Wasden and Ken Huskinson. On it are three collapsed lava tubes known as Dry Cat Cave, Coyote Cave, and Owl Cave. The first two have not been excavated. The one you are looking at here, Owl Cave, has been, and there's been some interesting finds here. A person is interviewed here. They say, when I was a student at ISU, the Wazen site was always talked about in hushed tones. It was considered Idaho's oldest and foremost archaeological site, the one that would put us on the map. Archaeologists from the Upper Snake River Prehistoric Society and ISU excavated Owl Cave off and on between 1965 and 1977. They found the remains from bison, dire wolf, camel, and Columbian mammoth at different layers. The deepest and oldest layer where the mammoth was dates back about 14,000 years. Here's what they say is a two foot long mammoth molar found at the site. But also found here, they found human objects such as a doll's head and Folsom points, sharp arrows that hunters could throw and attach to a spear. The artifacts demonstrate that Native Americans, including some of the first humans ever to live in what is now Eastern Idaho, inhabited this cave. There was some rock art found in Owl Cave here. Here are somebody with its arms back, outstretched, striding, probably Orion. Just concluding this website, it says, meanwhile, we're extremely excited by another recent development. For decades, every artifact that has or will come out of the caves has remained the property of the Wasdens and the Huskinsons, descendants. That is, until last month, when the family generously donated the entire collection of 80,000 artifacts to the Museum of Idaho. So that is cool. They will be on display. Brief history on this website, it says Idaho State University began digging in 1965, and dug for six years. They found a layer, more than 70 bison, dating back to 12,600 to 12,400 years before present. They removed a pile of roof fall from the cave. I guess the cave uh, roof had kind of collapsed in areas and said it reached a layer of bones that included mammoth, Camel, dire wolf, other smaller mammals dating back to 13,000, 14,000 years ago. Folsom points were also found adjacent to the mammoth bones, but these are typically associated with bison kills in later periods, representing an ongoing search for a reasonable answer. Now, here is a PDF. I will leave the link to this below. Folsom mammoth hunters? Question mark. The terminal Pleistocene assemblage from Owl Cave. Here is a look inside of Owl Cave. Or excavation work went on here in starting in the 60s, I believe. Here's a map diagram of Owl Cave. It says the density of mammoth bones is based on number of identified specimens, where they were found. It seems that they were all deposited here in the back of the cave. Here's a diagram of some of the projectile points found in the cave here. But these Further research kind of led them to think that these are just associated with late, later bison hunts. They had nothing to do with the megafauna down found at the back of the cave. That's the gist I kind of get from this article. Here are a few of the bones. They think that some of the mammoth bones were repurposed into tools by later cultures. Not really sure if they were feeding on them, but it doesn't appear that way in some of this research. But it was obvious to me that they just aren't quite sure what happened here. It says, conclusions. 
In the end, our study of the Owl Cave materials fails to establish a case for the mammoth hunting at the site. Instead, one can read the available data in several different ways, leaving us with little more than a number of largely untestable suppositions about site formation processes at Owl Cave. Consequently, we present several competing scenarios illustrating how the terminal Pleistocene deposits could have formed. So in other words, they really don't know what happened here. The people who own the property and people going maybe way back in time, artifacts have been removed from here. All the bones have been removed from here. So it's really hard to put the story together. So what happened here? Did this cave system act like a big drain during a giant flood and just wash these animals down here? And that's where they ended up in the back of this cave system. Here's a look at the dating chart, the megafauna, large bison, mammoth, dire wolf, camel found in here. The datings here, the radiocarbon age, remember those have to be calibrated. Talks a little bit about the dating here, dates such as 13,000, 90 years ago, 12,000, 593 years ago. There's a window in there. Did this all happen around 12,800, 12,900 years ago? And we know the hammer came down and the younger dry started. I really wonder. It also says this, says the fauna becomes even more interesting at Owl Cave when compared with the age, age ranges for Clovis and Folsom. As shown in figure three, the mammoth remains largely predate the Clovis period while the bison tooth falls squarely within the Folsom age. This latter finding is consistent with Butler's earlier dates, suggesting that the introduction of bison remains into the cave was during the Folsom period. And the Clo Clovis, well, that remains a bit of an unanswered question. Here are some hazy picks coming from over 50 years ago. Excavation done here, the bone bed. Over 6,000 bones found in this cave here. Here is an actual map they used during their excavation work here in the 1960s, a rock pile. And then this debris, bone debris found in the back of the cave here. This PDF was very interesting, no hard answers. It talks about possible bone from the mammoth being used for bone marrow by Pleistocene hunters a long, long time ago. And then others, however, have expressed skepticism as do we both because absence of hammer stones and the potential for roof fall in Owl Cave to modify long bones in ways mimicking human butchery. So there is a lot of disagreement here. What exactly happened? Here's another pick from 50 years ago, excavation at the site. Now, if you were processing megafauna that you supposedly hunted, would you bring them back to the darkest part of the cave here? and butcher their bones, or would you, would you do it where there's more light? Uh, certain things about this story, I get a certain feeling. Now here's a look at the cave entrance in 2014. You just gotta wonder if this was at the bottom of a great flood that swept through here, and this acted like a drain, and that's how the bottom layer of all these megafauna ended up at the bottom here, swept down here as a result of a great flood that we know happened here. And I will leave the link for this below. Look here in the back of this cave where all these thousands of bones were found. Here is a map of the general area and a few other sites here, ancient sites, going back way back in time. But this definitely was an interesting PDF. Folsom Mammoth Hunters, question mark, the terminal Pleistocene assemblage from Owl Cave, Wasson Site, Idaho. I will leave the link below. Well, that is a video from Idaho. I think I've completed my western states now, the Younger Dries period. Snake River comes through here. A lot of water came through here. A lot of questions raised there. No solid answers. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.